Hello, ChatGPT. I have a question. I really want to know about the Prophet Muhammad and why he is the last prophet according to Islam. And I also want to know how Islam defines a prophet. In Islam, the Prophet Muhammad is considered the last prophet, known as the... Hello, guys. You're welcome. Thank you so much for clicking. So we're going to be checking out this video asked by AI, that is ChatGPT. Why is Prophet Muhammad the last prophet? Why do Muslims believe Prophet Muhammad is the last prophet? So let's check it out. Hello guys, I am Han. This is Kelly. We are Han Meditations and we're back with another video. This time we want to talk a little bit about the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, and really the details about, you know, why is he the last prophet? Yeah. We want to know how a prophet is actually defined in Islam. Mm. And we want to learn more about that because that's really a central and key piece to Islam. Oh, yeah. So let's go ahead and check it out. Okay. Hello, ChatGPT. I have a question. I really want to know about the Prophet Muhammad and why he is the last prophet according to Islam. And I also want to know how Islam defines a prophet. In Islam, the Prophet Muhammad is considered the last prophet, known as the Seal of the Prophets. This belief is rooted in the teachings of the Quran, specifically in Surah Al-Ahzab, verse 40, which states that Muhammad is the final messenger sent by God. Okay. Muslims believe that he completed the message of all previous prophets and brought the final revelation, which is the Quran. Islam defines a prophet as a person chosen by God to deliver his message and guide humanity. Mm -hmm. Prophets are seen as individuals who are morally upright and trustworthy, often receiving divine revelations to lead their communities in spiritual and ethical matters. Okay. They serve as intermediaries between God and people, providing guidance on how to live a righteous life. Muhammad's role as the last prophet is significant because according to Islamic belief, there will be no more prophets after him. Mm. And the message he delivered is meant to last for all time. This is why Muslims regard the Quran as the final and complete guide for humanity. Would you like to know more about Muhammad's life or the teachings he conveyed? I want to know more about yeah. what the Quran says exactly about the Prophets. Prophet Muhammad and his and the seal of the prophets. The specific reference to Muhammad as the seal of the prophets can be found in the Quran in Surah Al-Ahzab, verse 40. It states, Muhammad is not the father of any of your men, but he is the messenger of Allah and the seal of the prophets, and Allah is all aware of everything. This verse emphasizes that Muhammad is the final prophet in a long line of prophets sent by God, and his role as the last messenger signifies the completion of divine revelation. If you're interested, I can provide more context on how this concept is interpreted in Islamic teachings or its significance in the broader scope of prophethood in Islam. Yes, I, I would like to know more about that. The concept of Muhammad as the seal of the prophets carries significant implications in Islamic theology. Here are some key points regarding its interpretation and significance. One, completion of prophethood. Muhammad's status as the last prophet means they completed the message of previous prophets, such as Adam, Noah, Abraham, Moses, and Jesus. Muslims believe that while previous revelations were specific to certain communities and times, the Quran is meant for all of humanity and for all time. Two, final revelation. The Quran is viewed as the final and complete revelation from God. It addresses all aspects of life, spiritual, social, moral, and legal. This completeness is why Muslims believe there is no need for further prophets after Muhammad. Three, universal message. Muhammad's teachings emphasize the oneness of God, Tawheed, and promote values such as justice, compassion, and community welfare. His message transcends cultural and ethnic boundaries, making it relevant to all people. Four, role model. Muhammad is considered the ideal human being and a model for Muslims to emulate. Mm. His actions and sayings, hadith, are studied and followed to understand how to live a life aligned with Islamic principles. Five, end of revelation. The belief that there will be no more prophets implies that the Quran should be the ultimate guide for Muslims. 
This view also discourages any claims of new revelations or prophets after Muhammad, which is a significant point of difference between Islam and some other religious traditions. Six, significance in Islamic eschatology. In Islamic teachings about the end times, it is believed that Muhammad will have a special role in the day of judgment, serving as an intercessor for his followers. This belief reinforces the unity and continuity of the Islamic faith, establishing Muhammad's pivotal position in the history of Revelation. Would you, you like to explore more about Muhammad's life or specific teachings from the Quran? Hmm, that's really interesting. Hmm. I want to know the difference. Hmm. Very briefly, I actually want to know, it, are Hadiths in the Quran? If not, where can you find the Hadiths? Hadiths are not found in the Quran. They are separate collections of sayings, actions, and approvals of the Prophet Muhammad. You can find hadiths in various books compiled by Islamic scholars, the most well-known collections being Sahih Bukhari and Sahih Muslim. These collections serve as important sources of guidance for Muslims alongside the Quran. Would you like to know more about specific hadiths or their significance? Huh. Because we hear a lot about the hadiths, uh -huh. and yeah. <laughs> it is interesting because, you know, one of the things that people always say is stuff like, oh, the you know, 72 virgins and all this stuff that people yeah. just like to joke about and bring up. But what we've heard from the videos that we've watched is that is not a verified hadith or a verified yeah. um, basically thing that the prophet Muhammad said, peace be upon him. It's definitely not in the Quran. It's yeah. Quran. So, you know, that's, that's, that is interesting, but people seem to, but I guess, you know, from what we've heard, there's different hadiths that have different levels of credibility. Yeah. So there's closer hadiths that, you know, this came from a good source. And then there's also right. hadiths where it's like, right. hey, this this is from the cousin of the cousin of yeah. a friend that knew a guy that once heard of, you know, the prophet Muhammad back in the day. So, you know, it's like that's not really verifiable. So. But that's interesting yeah. how it said the seal of the prophet. So yeah. basically all of the other prophets, he's basically bringing it together. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So from, you know, Noah and all of the, you know, Moses and all that. So yeah. what do you think, Ellie? Yeah, I think, and as far as the hadiths, I mean, at least it's still known, like, who wrote it. And at least there's common ground about which ones are more credible than others on like the Bible, yeah. you know, when it is the actual Bible and there's stories in there with no one knows who wrote them. No one knows exactly how credible they are. So, yeah. I mean, if you want to go down that rabbit hole, we got plenty of videos for you to watch. So and go check them out. And plenty more because I mean, I'm still confused about <laughs> oh, the yeah. Bible and all that. You know what I mean? I mean, the more you find out, the more there is to know. The more weird it gets, <laughs> you know, it really is like, who wrote this, you know? Mm. So, you know, thank you guys for watching it. All right, guys, this was a very, very interesting one. Getting to know why Prophet Muhammad is the last prophet is, you know, is really good to know. And the fact that based on the Quran, the prophets that came before Prophet Muhammad were Adam, you know, they said Abraham, um, Adam, Abraham, Jesus. There was one other name they mentioned, but Adam is part of, is a prophet. Abraham is a prophet. Jesus is a prophet, then Prophet Muhammad is a prophet because he came, you know, to fulfill a lot of things to Allah. And, and you know, Adid, I've read so many things about Adid not being, you know, part of the Quran. And it's not something that I'm kind of strange to, but I love the surah she mentioned made mention of that you can find um more about prophet muhammad or based on the surah you know what is the last prophet and that was magnificent the role it played on earth and why you know is a prophet and that was a beautiful one I, i'm just perplexed with the whole explanation i love how you know ai broke it down letting us understand it based on the surah 
and what Quran says about Prophet Muhammad and also about the Hadith and what and the Prophet that came before Prophet Muhammad. That was a beautiful one. I love the comment given by uh I love their comments on this topic. That was a beautiful video. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know what your point of view. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.